It was 1976, a year that would have been an unremarkable one for the Detroit Tigers, were it not for rookie pitcher Mark Fitterich. I'm Mark Fitterich from North from Massachusetts, Massachusetts, and a uh, pitcher for the Detroit Tigers. Otherwise known as the Bird. Now look at him right there, talking to him. He's talking, he's telling the ball where he wants it to go. At the precious age of 21, Fitterich took the majors by storm, leading all of baseball with a 2.34 ERA. He completed 24 of his 29 starts and finished with a record of 19 and 9, second in the American League Cy Young voting. But while the bird was the word, it was his antics off the mound and in between each pitch that truly set him apart. And on the mound is this young man by the name of Mark Fedrich. There's a lot about him that we uh, maybe don't understand. I'll tell you, this is uh, one of the funniest guys probably that I've, I've seen uh, come along in baseball in a long time. He's got outstanding stuff, though, Bob. People thought I was strange. I didn't think anything of it until people started saying, hey, you know what you're doing out there? Ah, pitching. Oh, before you pitch. I mean, snap, going up the hole. I don't like it. You want me to get the ground crew out here every time? I mean, you know, stop the game, ground crew, you know, fix the mound, you know? I mean, because eventually then I wear into my own hole. You know what I'm saying? Fitterich didn't even make his first start for the Tigers until more than a month into the season on May 15, 1976. Before that day, he was an unknown 21-year-old on a last place team. But it didn't take long for Tigers fans to fall in love with him. He was the greatest thing I think that I've ever seen as far as not only pitching, but, but uh, people just wanted to be around him. And, and you know, at Tiger Stadium in those years, I would come to the ball game and, you know, and I hadn't been out of the game that long, but to see him pitch and see the things he did and see the reaction from fans of all ages, I think that's the other thing about Mark. The fans of all ages loved him. It was so unique. It was on June 28, 1976, that the bird became a national phenomenon after a brilliant, complete game win against the Yankees on national television. The fans ready to explode. Here's your pitch. Ground ball should be the ball game. It's over. And the Tigers act like Fitzgerald has just won the seventh game of the World Series. He has. <laughs> He's won seven in a row. He is some kind of unbelievable young Mark Fitzgerald. He was genuine. He was real. And that year, America loved the bird as much as the bird loved baseball. I think it was the innocence with which he, he conducted himself. I mean, he, he was a kid who, I mean, imagine patting the mound and imagine talking to the ball and, and doing the things that he did on the mound. I mean, you don't see that today. He was genuine. And not only that, he was a serious, serious pitcher. See, that's one thing about the Tigers. They let me be what I wanted to. They didn't come up and say, hey, Mark, get a haircut. Hey, Mark, shave. Hey, uh, Mark, take that T-shirt off. They said, Mark, here. You know, you, if we try to change you, you might not be able to play baseball. Do what you want to do. You know, because they knew I had enough smarts, you know, not to be, you know, weird. You know, they knew I was intelligent a little bit, but this is the way I had to live. Fitterich was never able to relive the magic of 76. He would win only 10 more games during his big league career. However, for that summer, no matter where you were, when you thought about baseball, it was the bird who came to mind. It truly was a happening. I mean, it was so spontaneous. It, it wasn't scripted, it wasn't rehearsed, it wasn't planned. I don't think there's ever been another player, not only on the Tiger organization, but in all of baseball, who's had the impact for one year that Mark Fedrich had in 1976. Gone too soon from baseball and from our lives. The spotlight that chased the bird around was like nothing we've ever seen. 